Okay, so I have this set up here. I pulled two electric motors out of a remote control toy car. Uh, I've wired it to where I have a single AA battery connected through the switch that I pulled out of the car. And the battery powers this electric motor. Connected to the second electric motor through this shaft with some gearing effectively turns this electric motor into a generator. So as the shaft on this device turns it can create electricity just like a generator. Okay, so the point of this is to show that uh, as you draw power from a generator it will actually become harder to turn uh, so let me turn on the switch, and you see the motor is spinning, spinning the generator, and since there's no connection, electrical connection here, the generator is running relatively free. When I touch the wires together, it creates resistance. causing the generator to become harder to spin. And you can hear the motor dragging down. So this is effectively why you cannot take a battery to power a motor to turn around and power a generator and then run this electricity off the generator to recharge your battery. Because as the load is placed on the generator it becomes harder to spin and therefore the electric motor takes more power to spin it. Okay.